In this video, I'll tell you exactly how to get every single achievement in Geometry Dash the quickest and easiest way possible. Beware that there are two more achievements on the Steam version of the game than on mobile, so the achievement list might be a tiny bit different than you might have expected. Check the timestamps in the description to find the achievements you're stuck at more easily. Let's start! Achievement 1 the first achievement in the game is one of the two Steam achievements that's only available on a PC. So if you're playing on mobile, this one does not exist. You get it by completing the first three main levels. Stereo Madness, Back on Track and Polar Geist. Achievement 2 to 43. The main level achievements. For the following 42 achievements, you need to beat all main levels in practice and normal mode. The achievements where you need to beat a level in practice mode are simple, since you can spend as much time trying to do this as you need to. For the achievements where you have to beat the levels in normal mode, I recommend watching this video on how to complete all main levels easily. After that, you should be able to beat them all. Achievement 44 to 55, the demon achievements. The next 12 achievements are achievements for which you need to beat demons. These might look like the hardest achievements to get, but I made a list of some very easy demons you should be able to easily beat, even for a beginner. For the first demon achievement, you only have to beat one demon. I recommend choosing the lightning road since it's one of the, if not the easiest demon in the game. Your second demon should be the nightmare, and by beating this, you get the second demon achievement. For the other 10 demon achievements, with 60 demons being the final one, I made a list with 60 60 of the easiest demons in the game. Try beating these and if you aren't good enough, practice some levels below this difficulty and come back later. Achievement 56, the Clubstep Coins. For this achievement, you need to obtain every single coin in the demon level called Clubstep. I recommend only doing this once you've already beaten the level. Let me show you where and how to obtain these coins. The first coin is at 9%. When hitting these two yellow orbs, hold at the blue orb until you reach another yellow orb which you click and easily obtain the coin like this. The second coin is at 70%. You are first in an upside down ship and when you see this ginormous monster and have passed its first spikes that look like teeth, release until you hit this orange UFO portal. Click for half a second really quickly when entering it until you reach a roof you collide with. Now avoid these spikes and obtain your second coin. The final coin is right at the end at 96%. You can get it by doing a small click when entering the final ship portal so you drop down between these spikes. Then hold right here for a little bit and fly straight until you reach this monster after which you can easily beat the level and have obtained every single clubstep coin. GG. Achievement 57 the Theory of Everything 2 coins. The first coin in Theory of Everything 2 is hidden behind this layer of blocks and it looks super hard to get, but don't worry. All you need to do is hold when hitting this yellow portal and release once you see the coin animation you get when hitting the coin. After this you can continue the level normally. The second coin at 65% is a little trickier. You have to fly between the gap that is indicated with the slightly blue line instead of the usual green line the outside of the structure has. Only release and click here once. It might need a bit of practice, so turn auto checkpoints off and put a practice button before this part to get consistent at it. The final coin is hidden at 84%. Very sneaky. Luckily, it's easy to obtain. When entering this cube portal, click this orb and also the orb which you normally aren't supposed to click, indicated with a cross through it. Now hold and get the coin, after which you click at the end of this structure to not die to these spikes. GG, you now got all the coins. Achievement 58, the deadlocked coins. Our first deadlocked coin is located all the way at 38%. However, when playing normally, you aren't able to see it because of a key you have to hit before a secret passageway opens with the coin in it. For this key at 19%, you have to fly a little higher than usual, so do an extra long tap here instead of a short one. Now, continue the level like normal and jump into this corridor that will finally open. And don't do anything to enter this portal. The second coin comes right after it, so watch out. At 49%, you switch into the robot game mode, where you continue doing regular jumps until you've hit the two green orbs and the single yellow orb. 
Don't do anything here until you've reached a slightly darker block area than usually. Jump at the end of this without hitting the green orb and you now got 2 coins instead of 1. To get the final coin though, we enter the UFO portal at 63%. Here, click slowly and stay on the top half of the level. Reach the coin in exactly 5 clicks by slowly clicking, otherwise you won't be able to get it. Now, continue the level and beat it. GG on obtaining all deadlocked coins. Achievement 59 to 84 The Star Achievement. Oh Shiny is the 59th achievement for which you need to collect 100 stars. The most efficient way to do this is by just trying to get the main level achievements. This is because you get stars by beating main levels. 177 in total if you beat every one of them. So first, do these. For the next one, you have to obtain 200 stars. So after beating every main level, you need 23 more stars. To get these the quickest way, try beating 4 to 5 star levels or levels that you can easily beat in one of Attempt. You should also do this if you're stuck on the achievements for obtaining 300 to 1000 stars. After 1000 stars, it starts taking too long to get stars with this method. So you have two options. The first option is to switch to 6 or 7 star levels, but only if you're good enough to beat these in less than 5 attempts. If this is too easy, switch to beating easy demon levels. These also award you other achievements, and I listed some really easy ones in the description, so try one of these options out. Achievement 85 to 109 The Secret Coin Achievements For Achievement 85 to 109, you need to obtain secret coins, which can be found in main levels or by finding some secrets in the game. I'll explain which secret coins you should go for, since you don't have to get every single one of them. Only 130 out of the 149 obtainable coins. From here, I'll talk about how to get every single one of them from the easiest to the hardest ones. The easiest 3 coins to get are the 3 secret 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 coins in Geometry Dash. The first one you get by typing Sparky in the vault. You can find the vault on the top right of the settings tab. The second one you can immediately get by going to the Vault of Secrets and then click the button until the vault talks about Sparky. Now go back to the vault and keep clicking this button until it talks about Glopfop. Finally go to the Vault of Secrets again and type in Glopfop to obtain your coin. You can get the final easy coin by scrolling through all main levels 3 times until a coin pops up on the coming soon screen, the final screen of the main levels. Click on it to get it. After this I recommend getting every single coin in the demon main levels since you can get separate achievements for these two. To see how to beat them, check out the timestamps for the demon achievements in the description. The next 54 easiest coins are the non-demon main level coins. A separate video will be made on how to obtain them, which will come out in the near future. For now, try to beat these without my help. They aren't too bad. The last 63 coins should be obtained by beating most map packs. You should beat all of them, except for the following ones since these map packs are the hardest to complete. Demon pack 4 Demon Pack 5 Demon Pack 7 Demon Pack 8 Demon Pack 9 Demon Pack 10 Demon Pack 11 Demon Pack 12 Demon Pack 13 And the Paradox Pack After beating all these map packs and the previous coins, you should have obtained enough of them to have all the coin achievements. On to the next one! Achievement 110 to 141 The User Coin Achievements The following 32 achievements are all about obtaining user coins. These are silver coins you can find in user made levels and most are pretty hard to get. To get all these user coin achievements fairly quickly, filter on easy levels and add the coin option in advanced options. This shows only levels with coins. Now play the levels with 3 coins that are below the ID of 30 million. These levels often have coins that are easier to get. Last but not least, select the medium feature so you can beat the levels way quicker. After you got around 500 user coins, switch to doing the same for the normal difficulty since there aren't enough easy levels to provide you 1000 user coins in total. Some easy levels to start off with are Mesmerized by Spotnix and Retray. Good luck! Achievement 142 to 151 The Map Pack Achievements For the next 10 achievements, you need to beat map packs. One map pack consists out of 3 levels you need to beat. The achievements range from only having to beat 1 all the way to beating 45 of these packs out of the 65 existing ones. These go from easy to hard, so to get all map pack achievements, start with the first one which is the easiest and end with the 45th one. The only map pack you want to switch for a different one is the 43rd one the diamond pack, for the 47th one, the funky pack, which is a little easier. 
Achievement 152 to 161. The Diamond Achievements. The next 10 achievements are all about obtaining diamonds. You can get these achievements while doing other achievements that require you to beat levels. There are three ways to easily get diamonds. The first one is to beat levels you can finish in less than 5 attempts to obtain demon keys. You get one demon key every time you get 500 orbs, so don't beat very easy levels since they barely give you any orbs. I'd aim for 4, 5, 6 or 7 star difficulty levels, depending on your skill. Once you got a lot of keys, open as many chests as you can in the treasure room and get lots of diamonds from the chest if you're lucky. The second method is opening daily chests. One you can open every 3 hours, one every 24 hours. The final method is doing quests, which refresh every 12 hours. They are very easy to complete and give you a decent amount of diamonds. Achievement 162 to 169, the level completion achievements. For the achievement challenger, all you need to do is complete a level made by a user. You can find them in these tabs I indicated with a red circle. The next 7 achievements need you to beat a lot of these user made levels. But luckily, there's an easy fix to get all these achievements very quickly. When on the second home screen, click on the search button and then select tiny for the level length. When clicking on the most recent levels button, you can beat all these very short levels very quickly, which most of the time aren't hard. Achievement 170. Have fun. The 170th achievement just says have fun. But how do you unlock it? Well, first go to your icons and then click on the lock below the standard cube. Like this, you unlock an icon and an achievement. Achievement 171 to 175, the jump achievements. Achievement bounce can be obtained by just jumping in a level, which you will gradually get by playing a lot. But if you're too lazy for that, here's an easy fix. In the search bar, type jump glitch and play the second level. If you hold here, the game will for some reason let you jump a lot of times, and you can get all the jump achievements in less than a minute like this. Achievement 176 to 180, the attempt count achievements. The next achievements this time aren't about jumps, but attempt counts, and they take very long to achieve. Still, there is a way to speed this up without hacks. First, go to the options in the settings and make sure the auto retry feature on the first page and the fast practice reset feature on the second page are enabled. Now, go to Stereo Madness and place a practice button at the start of a spike. Now just wait an hour or so, and come back later to see your attempt count having skyrocketed. Achievement 181 to 190, the liking and rating achievements. The next 10 achievements should be done all at the same time, even though it's a tedious process. Go to the recent levels again and only click on the levels. Don't play them. What you need to do is click on both bottom buttons, the button for liking and the button for rating a level. Do this 2000 times in total to get all the achievements for liking and rating levels. Achievement 191 to 192, the following achievements. For the following achievements, all you need to do is go to a level, click on the profile above the level name, and click on the heart on the bottom left of the profile. Do this 9 times more to get the other follow achievement. Achievement 193 to 194, the friend achievements. While you're at it, the next two achievements need you to friend a user once and 10 times. So do this while you're following people. Achievement 195, the upload achievement. For the creator achievement, all you gotta do is upload a level. Go to the creation tab, then go to the editor and place a single object, after which you can verify the level and obtain your achievement. Achievement 196 to 197, the 50 and 100 likes achievements. Everyone struggles with the following two achievements. Get 50 or 100 likes on a level, which sounds impossible to do, since the levels you make immediately enter a graveyard where nobody plays it anymore. There are tricks to make your level popular though. First, do research on which levels are currently trending and get a lot of plays. If you found a level, check if there's a specific part which might be hard or really cool to play, and when the level has a part like this, copy the original level and remove everything but the specific cool part. If it's a wave part for example, put wave behind the original name in the title and upload it. This might work since people want to practice this part of the level or just play it cause it looks amazing. If you get lucky, this might work. Another way is to message your friend or random people in the game to play and like your level, which I did to get 100 likes on my first level. Achievement 198, the rated level achievement. 
The hardest achievement to get. How I got this achievement was by following block design tutorials on YouTube, using one specific design and making a lot of different variations of it. But I got extremely lucky. This achievement is the only one where you need actual skill to obtain it. So practice a lot by trying to recreate different styles and eventually mastering one of them to create a feature worthy level. I recommend making a modernistic style level since these levels require the least amount of effort in order to get featured. Good luck. Achievement 199 the more games achievement. Tap the more games button on the bottom right of the home screen to get this achievement. Achievements 200 to 202, the wrapped up account achievement. The following three achievements are super easy to get. Go to your daily chests, click on the free stuff button, press every icon on here and immediately go back to get all three achievements. Achievements 203, the so close achievement. You can get the so close achievement by dying at the very end of a level. You can literally get it without effort by clicking on the first level and typing so close achievement in the search bar. You'll die at 95% here automatically. Achievements 204 to 208, the icon destruction achievement. The next achievements all are secrets. Let's go over them one by one. You get the first 5 secret achievements by clicking icons on the home screen. Yes, you can actually click on the ships and cubes moving on your screen. Click 500 of them to obtain all achievements. It might take a while, but it's worth it. Achievement 209, the secret main level coin achievement. The next secret is obtainable by scrolling through all main levels 3 times and clicking on the coin that appears after the third time. Achievement 210 to 222, the vault achievements and the secret icon achievements. For the oh no achievement, you need to unlock the vault. You have to do this by getting 10 user coins, then clicking on the lock on the top right of the settings tab, and then typing Lenny in the bar that pops up. You need to type 10 other words for the following 10 achievements. These are Sparky, Spooky, Blockbite, Robotop, A Hat, Mule, Never Ending, Gandalf Potter, and the final two are a bit special. The first one requires you to put your username in the bar, and the second one requires you to one by one add codes. First, type 8, press the button, then type 16, repeat, type 30, repeat, type 32, repeat, type 46, repeat, type 84, and press the button for the final time. Achievement 216 and 217 are obtainable by clicking specific cubes on the home screen. The first one requires you to click this one and the last achievement requires you to click this cube. Be sure to refresh the home screen by going to another page and quickly going back since the first icon when opening the game is always a cube. Like this, ships, spiders and other game modes won't appear on the screen, improving your chances to get these achievements. Achievement 223 to 230, the Vault of Secret Achievements. Next up, we have more codes to enter, but instead of going to the Vault, we go to the Vault of Secrets, which can be unlocked with 50 diamonds. For the first achievement, type in Brain Power. The second achievement is a bit more complicated since you need to do a lot of stuff for this one. What you need is a pen and a paper. First, write down code 3 breaker in the bar and write down all the numbers you see on screen. Subtract the second number from the first one, the third one from the second one, the fourth one from the third one, the fifth one from the fourth one, and the sixth one from the fifth one. Now put all the numbers you have next to each other and enter them here. If you did it right, you got the code breaker achievement. The next Vault of Secrets achievement you get by clicking the button the whole time until the vault talks about Sparky. Now go to the normal vault and press the button until the vault starts talking about Glopfab. Finally, go back again to the Vault of Secrets and enter Glopfab to obtain this coin. The other achievements obtainable in the Vault of Secrets are very straightforward. Type Octocube, the amount of stars you have, 7, give me the color and the chicken is on fire in the bar to get all of them. Achievement 231 to 235, the Chamber of Time Achievements. These achievements are the Chamber of Time Achievements and require some steps in order to be obtained. First, we need to unlock the Chamber of Time. The Chamber of Time is normally accessible via the final screen of the main levels on the ground, but you can only see it once you finish some steps. First of all, you need to have defeated the challenge in the Vault of Secrets. In order to play it, you need 200 diamonds. Once you've beaten this, enter the door below it and unlock the blue and green 
green key. The blue key can be unlocked by beating the Chaos Gauntlet, and the green key can be unlocked by opening 50 demon chests in total. You need 50,000 orbs in total for this, so be sure to open daily chests and progress at easy demons for a lot of orbs. Only open the great chests here. Once you finally got both two keys, click on the final orange key. Now go to the end of all the main levels and click on the ground which will unlock a door. To unlock this door, you need 500 diamonds to unlock the shop in which you need to buy the master emblem. Once you finally did all this, you can access the chamber of time. These are riddles. At the end of each riddle, type in order hunger, river, silence, darkness and finally volcano for the last riddle. Good job, on to the next achievement. Achievement 236, Steam only club step achievement number 2. The next achievement you only get in Steam as an extra achievement for beating club step. Achievement 237 to 266, the shard achievements. For the final 30 achievements in the game, you need to obtain shards, 100 of each to get every single one of them. You can get shards by opening daily chests. Another way to get shards is by progressing on easy demons to get orbs. Every 500 orbs you get a single demon key, and since the demon difficulty rewards you with the most orbs, you can grind keys by progressing on them. With these keys, you can open demon chests, which sometimes contain shards. The final way is to beat the first 25 gondola levels for extra shards. If you do these methods for long enough, you get the final achievements in no time. GG! You obtained all 266 achievements without any effort. I hope you enjoyed and be sure to watch some of my other videos or tutorials. And subscribe please, cause I'm poor.